All right, today we're going to deal with the uh, norm dist function. So uh, what we can do is if we have a normal distribution like this, um, we can calculate the percentage uh, of pulling a random uh, event in, from that distribution uh, pretty easily in Excel at any cut point. So, I mean, if, if we have exact standard deviations, so I've created the normal distribution off of uh, standard, oops, standard deviation, so negative four all the way up to positive four standard deviations. We know that like between minus one and plus one, this whole area under the curve, right? Between minus one and plus one is about 68% because of the empirical rule. But if we don't want to cut at standard deviations, we have to use uh, equals norm dist. Uh, to use it, all we have to know is what the average of the distribution we're dealing with is and what the standard deviation of the distribution is. If we do not have uh, a normal distribution, this will not work. So again, this is only going to work if the average and standard deviation come from a distribution that is normal. Okay, and we'll talk about the rules of normal in class. Um, <clears throat> so, if uh, I think we talk about you know things like light bulbs, if you have a um, uh, if you have a an LED light bulb that on average lasts fifteen thousand hours with a standard deviation of uh, 1,200 hours, and we know that uh, the light bulbs, as they come off the line, when we've tested them, they distribute fairly normally uh, on how long they last, then we can go ahead and calculate the probability of falling within um, any given range, uh, either standard deviation-wise or uh, based on, on particular cut points. So <clears throat> if we then... Uh, want to calculate things like this. So the probability that an, a random light bulb is less than um, 16,000 hours, for instance. So if we just grab a random light bulb and we test it, the probability that that light bulb uh, will last um, 16,000 hours or less, uh, then we want to use this norm this, okay? Uh, or norm dot dist. Either one will do the same thing. Okay, um, <clears throat> And all it asks is for the x, so I've given you the x here, the probability that x is less than 16,000. So I just put in 16,000 and hit comma. Uh, I want the mean, so it's, it goes to mean. I've got that right here. And hit comma. Right, it says standard deviation, so I just give it the standard deviation of the distribution. And then is it cumulative? Uh, and we're only going to work with cumulative distributions. So go ahead and hit true. Um, and in this class, that'll always be the case. Right. And then we hit enter. And it's going to kick out a number, 0.797. Or it's going to round uh, to 79.8%. And what, what the norm disk always gives you is it's going to cut at 16,000. So 15,000 would be right here at 1. Cause 15, or, or I'm sorry, 16,200. Uh, would be 1, because it's 15,000 plus 1 standard deviation. Um, and so we're, we're just to the left. We're just to the left of that 1 right here. And we're saying if you take all this space under that area, it's going to be about 80% of our distribution. Okay. And again, since we know between minus 1 plus 1 is 68%, we know that 0 to plus 1 is 34. We've already talked about that. And that less than zero is going to be 50. So there's going to be half the distribution plus 34, uh, which would be 84%. And we're just a little bit less than 84%, which is if we took everything below plus one. Right? Now, if we wanted to know um, <clears throat> the opposite of that, so if we want to know uh, x greater than 16,000, so if we wanted to know how many light bulbs are greater than 16,000, uh, one of the things I sometimes do is, uh, if I want to replicate this down, I'll just lock, um, I'll just lock the mean and the standard deviation so it's always pointing at these. And then I can drag it down. And it's going to give me the same number, and that's fine. Uh, but now, I, like I said, norm just always cuts at a point in the distribution and, and gives us everything going left, so everything below... Um, that part of the distribution. If I want the right side of the distribution, all I have to do is hit 1 minus norm dist, and it'll give me the other side. Okay, so if you put a 1 minus in front of the norm dist, it'll be 100% minus whatever percentage is going left 
is what's going right, and these two will sum uh, to 100 percent. Okay, so that's the main idea. <clears throat> now, if I want uh, to get pieces that are between, so going right, you just do one minus. Going left, you just do the norm dist itself at whatever x you want to cut at. If you want to get between, so for instance, we want to know what's the probability of a light bulb being, um, let's see, between 14,500 and 15,500. So up 500, down 500 from the average. <clears throat> you can do... You can do it a couple of different ways, um, but you always you always want the bigger probability first. Um, so, for instance, we could do it this way. So we could do uh, less than fifteen five, and then less than 15, fourteen five, and then we could just subtract. Or I'll show you how to do it all in one up here. So again, I can just copy this norm this down. Oh, I want this one. Copy. Paste, paste, and then I just change x. So this is why locking those is really helpful. So I just change 16,000 to 15,500. Gives me 16 or 66.2 percent. I change 16,000 to 14,500. Gives me 33.8 percent. Uh, and so that means from about here, right? So about here. Um, if we cut it going this way, that's 14,000. This area under the curve is about 33%. If we cut it here, this area is about 66%. So this tail, this is this 14,5, is actually a tail of the 15,5, if that makes sense. Uh, and this is why we draw it out in class, it's a little easier to see. Um, uh, and so if I just take the bigger one, if they're both going the same direction, in this case we did uh, the norm just the same way, so they're both pointing left. If they're both pointing right, it works just as well. But if you take the big probability minus the little probability like that, uh, it'll give us the difference between these two or 32.3%. If that, if you don't like doing it separately, you can also build it in this way. So I can just do norm dist of 15.5 comma s1 comma s2 comma true. And then I can subtract the second norm disk. So I can just take the first norm disk minus the second norm disk. 14.5 comma s1 comma s2 comma true. And it'll give me the same percentage, 32.3%. So I mean, there's, you know, however, however it makes sense is fine. Um, but they have to both either be going left, so meaning norm disk, or you have to have one minus the norm disk, so they're both pointing right. They have to be pointing in the same direction, so you can cut off the tail. Uh, that's the main thing. So anyway, if, if we want to, if we have data, we, we know it's normally distributed, and we know the average of standard deviation, we can calculate the probabilities of any uh, set, uh, or any ranges, basically, on here, and even multiple ranges. So like, if we wanted to then add another range to this one, uh, we could, even if they're non-contiguous and all that sort of stuff. So we'll talk about a bunch of that stuff in class, um, but that's that's how we use this equals norm disk function.